Welcome to this video on stem cells. Take a look at the keywords we'll use in this video. So stem cells are unspecialized cells which can differentiate into specialized cells. This basically means that stem cells can turn into other types of cells in the body to replace them. There are three types of stem cells, embryonic stem cells, animal stem cells and meri stem cells. Let's first look at embryonic stem cells. These are the cells which can form any type of cell and are found in the early embryo. It's really important for these cells to be able to turn into any cell, as these are the original cells we start with. They continue to divide like any normal cell, however at the 8 cell stage these embryonic stem cells can begin to differentiate into specialised cells. For example they could turn into a blood cell, nerve cells or muscle cells. Over time these specialised cells come together to form tissues, organs and then a human baby. When the baby grows, it will still have stem cells, however these are only partially specialised. This is because humans stop growing. Animals don't need to regrow of their cells, only replace the damaged ones. This means that adult stem cells can only differentiate into a select set of cells. For example, stem cells found in the bone marrow can only differentiate into types of blood cells. Instead of stem cells, plant cells have merry stem cells. These can specialise into any cell in a plant, as plants continue to go throughout their life. So like an embryonic stem cell, they can differentiate into any plant cell. The zebrafish is one of the most important organisms for stem cell research, as it can regenerate most of its body using stem cells. Scientists can find out lots more about how stem cells work and how we can use them through this organism. We can also use stem cells to help treat various medical conditions, for example sickle cell anemia. We can stimulate these stem cells to produce the cells we need, however there are a number of risks. The cell could continue to divide uncontrollably, creating a tumour. The body could reject the cell with its immune system treating them as a pathogen and killing it. Diseases could be transmitted through the cell, and many people question if it's ethical to carry out stem cell transplants.